Okay, y'all, so I'm back. <clears throat> As you see, I put the stickers down. They're a little rough this month. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, but yeah. So my savings goal for this month, I'm gonna just put 300. I do have a savings goal of between 300 to 450, but I'm gonna put the least amount because that's just yeah. So um, and this is not including the kids. This is not including. This is just our personal, like I don't even wanna say savings. So let's say emergency fund. That's what that is. So for rent, it is 10, 18, 50, 50, 50. And this month, we're really trying to move. Like, we've been having a lot of problems as far as our house and stuff. So, yeah. This might be go up, like, next month. But I definitely know we're going to have to put some money towards whatever. And I apologize my, about my voice if it sounds off to y'all. It's just that my allergies are acting up, like, really bad. I don't know why. Like, it's just these pink trees. I think, I don't know what they're called. But it's these pink trees where we live at. And they're, like, really bothering me. Okay, so car insurance is 171 30 and my credit card, I have a minimum of $20, but I always go ahead and put $100. Um, also, for renters, let me put renters. This $13.33. Again, payday is on the 10th. My mom's birthday is on the 10th. Um, Eric's birthday is on the 18th, and I definitely need to put, um, something for our anniversary right here. Um, so BJ and e is 130.38. My car payment is 406. Um... And that's just because I'm putting extra on there. So I just went ahead and included that. 258. Um, like I said, Eric's birthday is the 18th. Progressive. So let me put Pro Gleason. And that is 100. I literally just noticed that it's a dollar sign there. I don't know why. I don't know. Phone is 65. Again, pity is on 24th. And this is going to be Apple subscriptions. And that is $36. And, oh, I just told y'all I need to put something about anniversary. One second. What is good for anniversary? Mm, let's do a heart. Let's go back to July. Put that there. And anniversary. So I'm done with this. And now, let's move on. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, this is a new, like, little thing I wanted to try. I taped it in my book or whatever. <laughs> this is just something new that I made. Just because, like, I wanted to try something different or whatever. And I just wanted to add something, like fresh into my thing i've already tested it out in um june or whatever i just didn't show y'all like a video but i did test it out and um it actually is in color well it was in color but i didn't know that the printer i bought was a like all black and white printed um yeah black and white printed printer so i'm gonna have to get another one but yeah it was supposed to be yellow that's why i traced everything yellow but i'm just thinking like for the future i might not include the month i still might adjust the days or whatever but no i'm not even going to include the days 
I'm just saying like if you guys want it, if y'all want it, then I wouldn't include like this part. I would keep the calendar, but basically like so you wouldn't have to buy one every month if you would choose to. You could just like, you know what I'm saying? Like just change. You could write your, your, ugh, write your month and write your days. And I have tested it out and it works for me. So just let me know how y'all feel about it. So I'm going to send y'all the angle. You know, as always. Like you see, this is the sheet. And I just have income, the day, the bills and expenses. I have savings, debt payoff, and remaining. So to start off for income, as always, I'm going to start with Eric. Because he is the main, like, income. And mine's is, like, considered extra. So... We're estimating twenty eight hundred for him. That's after taxes. And then Jazz. And we're estimating eleven hundred for me. So that's gonna be thirty nine. So for bills and expenses. I first have rent because everything that I'm putting on here is basically like in order. So I will be referencing back to like Yeah. So rent I have ten eighteen fifty. Do I have anything else? Nope. So then my credit card is one seventy one. Mm, no, it's not. It's one hundred. And like I mentioned before, my minimum payment is only twenty dollars, but I like to add more. Oh. Only 10, 18, 5 plus one hundred. Plus 171, 3, 13, 33, plus 130, 38, plus 4, plus 6, plus 25, 8, plus 100, plus 65, plus 36, plus 500 equals. So this is going to be 27, 98. 51 and this I correlated this that's what I meant to do too so I have the first I have the sixth the ninth the 14th the 16th right 14 16. 19th see I kind of like it in the black and white honestly because I can customize it to whatever color like I like and I like being able to draw this and I have the 20 seven so those are all my bills for the month so now for savings, like I had said, um, I plan to, I want to just do at least 300, yeah, $300. Why well, I write that so small? Okay, anyway, $300, and then I want to put at least $300 to, yeah, I want to put at least 300 dollars towards um my debt pay so i do my thirty nine hundred dollars which is our expected income and i do our 29 i mean 27 98 51 minus 300 and minus another 300 I am stuck with 501 49 Now also, I want to see what it's going to be with that. 
with if I do 450 so I'm gonna put 39 again minus 27.98.51 minus 450 and 300 and that'll give me 351 49 and this would just be I guess a cushion I know like I normally I was at a point doing like the zero based budgeting but it's just like I don't want to just I've been noticing that's why I started like the emergency like um folder in my I mean folder envelope in my stuff because it was just like I was having a I ended up using my bank account and stuff like that and like I and if, if I do use my bank accounts if I do forget my envelopes or something I do take the money out of my envelopes and put it back like in my thing my envelopes my bank account I forgot which one I just said but yeah y'all overall this is um my monthly budget I have a this is how much I'm expecting to have like if everything goes as planned but like I, I noticed also that's what I was trying to say okay I noticed also that I may have like this 351 or whatever started in my budget but y'all know I do my um I do my cash stuff ins every week or whatever so right now I just said that I'm gonna put 500 towards it but I'd be putting like 250 230 like that amount in there every week so if I keep doing that then it's like 800 900 dollars so this is where that comes to I just don't necessarily know what if I want to put it all there if that makes sense y'all get what I'm trying to say I know you do but yeah so this is my monthly budget stay tuned for my first paycheck of July thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see y'all in my next video thank you